Hey Keto fam, Keto Kelly just getting her done. Coming in today is Wednesday, April the 18th. Yesterday was the 13th anniversary of my mother's passing. She died on April the 17th of 2005 of COPD. Yeah. Uh, on the stove right now, I have some olive oil heating up. I have three pieces of cod that I have breaded with half a cup of coconut flour, about a fourth of a cup of the nutritional yeast. I put a couple of um, little sprinkles of the of some poultry seasoning in there, uh, salt, I don't think I put pepper and I put a little bit of Old Bay. And I went ahead and breaded them and put them in the fridge to cool them down a little bit. I think I'm only going to do one today. Uh, and possibly freeze the other two for later use. What I did today, I'm going to go ahead and post a picture right now. Here is the fat head dough keto bagel type thing. I went ahead and, as you can see, I put some aluminum foil around the edges. Make sure you spray the aluminum foil. And... Um, put it around them and to create so they wouldn't flatten out. Now if you have a mold, you know, use your mold. This is what they ended up being. Look how, how much higher these are. The inside, very nice. They're very dense. But today I'm going to try to make fish sandwich. So let's see, let me find, hopefully this won't overflow because there's quite a bit of, there we go. Put that in there. Please don't overflow. I'm going to fry that up real quick. I have some mayonnaise and some dill relish for, um, what is that called? Tartar sauce. Um, to cook with that, or to put on it. I'll probably put a slice of cheese. Yes, it's American sliced cheese. That's what I have. Hopefully this will fry all the way through. It's browning up pretty good and it's probably just the nutritional yeast on it. I When I would go to McDonald's, my next thing from the Big Mac would always be the fish sandwich. I really, really enjoyed the fish sandwich. So, and I don't have any lettuce to put on it today, so, oh, that's, that didn't... It browned up pretty nice around the edges. I'm hoping that will cook all the way through. That's a pretty thick slice. Maybe I should have did this one. This one's much thinner. Maybe I'll do both. But I don't know if that's going to cook all the way through. I may have to put that one in the oven. But all right, guys, I'll come right back and show you uh, the finished product when it's done cooking. All right, guys, see you in a second. All right, here are the finished product. I think this one right here might be more well done than this one, but this one looks really good to me right now. While I just pulled it out of the oil, I'm going to go ahead and put one slice of the American cheese on it like that. The heat from the fryer will go ahead and um, melt that cheese, hopefully. Right here, I got... One of my, the bottom bun of the, the keto quote-unquote bagel with some tartar sauce on it. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Get out of there, paper towel. Oh, it broke. Set it on there just like that. And I have, I have the top piece right here with more tartar because I love tartar sauce. And there it is, guys. All right, let's go sit down and eat. All right, guys, we're sitting down. We're getting ready to eat. Let me show you real quick. This looks really good. I don't know what to expect. Of course, it's not going to be like McDonald's. We know this. Oh, look, a piece broke off. Let me try the piece real quick. Look at that. My dog is like... Wow. Are you going to eat it? Stop licking it and just eat it. <laughs> Jeez. 
Not bad. It's going to be even better with the, because there was no tartar sauce on that. Look at that fish. It's so flaky. All right. Here we go. Not bad. Could use some salt. <laughs> Did you eat it? Hmm? You want a piece of bread? Look at this dough, guys. Where's the camera? <laughs> She's dancing like a bear over there. Alright. So, let's talk today about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm getting my camper. I'll go ahead and do a um, quick video for you guys. Hopefully, to, if not tomorrow, then definitely Friday, because we're not getting it until later on in the afternoon, so I may not get around to doing a video until Friday when we open it. But, welcome to all my new subscribers. Guys, this is pretty good. Actually, quite, quite nice. It needs some salt, but very nice. I'm pleased with the height on this bun uh, versus the other ones. I didn't give it an opportunity to flatten out at all. So, mmm, 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 good. Um, after I folded the aluminum foil and brought it around. There was no way to connect the ends of the aluminum foil. So what I did is when I put the two, and again, I only did four of these. Normally you can get six. I made these pretty thick this time because I knew when they started to cool, they would drop down. And I think I baked these for like 15 minutes at 400 on a high rack. You don't want the bottom to get too bad because the bottoms of these look really nice. Um... When I brought the aluminum foil around, there was no way to attach it. So the two, I had two here and two in the back. What I did is I took the folded part and on each of them and put them together. That way the aluminum foil had no room to open up. So I put them together. And it worked out fine. So. Yummy. Look at that, guys. Yum. Keto is easy, guys. It really is. If you're looking for extravagant stuff on a channel, a keto channel, this isn't the channel. I try to keep keto as simple as possible. She's sitting like a gopher. <laughs> yeah. For not everybody can afford all this extravagant ingredients. I, I notice, if you notice, I don't do a lot of sweet stuff. Even stuff with artificial sweeteners triggers a lot of people, even with the artificial sweeteners. So, a lot of my foods are savory foods and easy to do. The stuff that I make is easy and you don't need a lot of ingredients to make it. This is good. This is really good. Really good. I'm glad I did this. I mean, I liked it with the shrimp, so I knew I would like it with this. Mmm. Really good. And this doesn't, this, um, bagel dough, fat head, biscuit, whatever you want to call it, bread dough, is not that bad today. I don't know why my camera's being glitchy. It's being weird. Okay, camera issue is resolved. I'm running out of source space. So it when I replayed the video back while I was eating, it wasn't showing on you guys' side, but it was showing on mine. It was glitching real bad. So resolved. Delete some stuff. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, so I didn't tell you guys what time it was. 1 o'clock. So that I finished the sandwich. It was 
amazingly good. I may go ahead and make another one and that'd be it for me for the rest of the day. But it was really good. Um, I was talking about how easy keto is and I think I'm going to do a video on my why. Why I do keto. How I got started. How easy it is to do. You don't have to do all this extravagant recipes and all this stuff. Blah. Keto is so easy, you don't need exogenous ketones. You can. The only thing that you need to pay for is your groceries. That's it. You don't have to buy all this outside stuff, all these treats that these keto ma people are making. I mean, you can if you want to spend your money on that. It is absolutely not necessary. Okay. So hopefully I can bring you guys a video tomorrow on the camper. I'm not entirely sure yet. But if no later than Friday or Saturday. Um, so go ahead and try the fish, guys. It's really good. Add salt. It needs salt. So maybe after you take it out of the oil, go ahead and sprinkle some salt on it, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys. I love you, and I will see you in a couple days.